It's just one of those things that every Queen Mary student should do or at least should do once in their time at QM. Mary survival kits, Queen Mary precious guide, Queen Mary what you must know, Queen Mary advice, everything Queen Mary first year university students. This is the video. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Clouds and nice to meet you. So today's video is for all my Queen Mary students who are about to start university in September, so really, really soon. Uh, and even if you're not a Queen Mary student, this video is pretty useful if you're about to start university in the UK, if you're fresher going to uni for the first time and you kind of really want like a survival guide, a survival kit, this video is a good place to start. I do already have like a Freshers Week survival video uh, for you guys who want to know how to survive Freshers Week, particularly this year in 2020 during, you know, a mass pandemic. So I will link that video here. Continue watching if you guys do want to know more specific tips for Queen Mary and for university uh, overall, what you should do beforehand, what you should do after, what are the things that you need to be preparing. Uh, so yes, let's get straight into it. Okay, so starting off the video, I want to talk about all the things that you need to know before you arrive. So before you arrive to uni, or before you arrive to London or UK even, you know, you might be an international student watching this. So what should you do before you arrive? Now, the first thing that Queen Mary has, which is really helpful that you should definitely download, uh, is a PDF talking about different uh, subjects or perhaps some of these are quite taboo subjects perhaps to talk about with other people things that you should know before coming to university now this pdf is extremely helpful and i really wish i had access to it when i was joining university and when i was a fresher i don't think it was around at my time it's called the know before you go documents and it lists down a lot of great topics that you should definitely be discussing and educating yourself on before you go to university to be honest even if you're a second or third year student it's still worth a read so first of all this pdf talks about identity it also talks about becoming independent, talks about building relationships, education, mental health, and sexual health. These topics are so crucial for your understanding before coming to university. I really wish I had access to this document before. I think this is just as important as learning how to start a bank account or learning how to register with the GP because these are things that will genuinely affect your future and they have really severe repercussions if you don't understand these things properly. So make sure you understand mental health, sexual health before coming to university and go through this document. I will link it down below. Please please go through it, like it's so important. The next thing on your list before coming to Queen Mary University is making sure you have a good understanding of what your fees look like, your tuition fees, whether you're paying these in installments, whether you've you know, got a loan and when you're gonna get those installments and when your loans are gonna come in. If there are any problems with this loan or if there are any problems with tuition fees rolling in, there is a welfare advisor at Queen Mary University that you should contact to make sure that you understand what happens if your fees are late, if your loan doesn't come in through, uh, what are the different repercussions and different alternatives that you can look at. So definitely contact the welfare advisor. There are certain solutions that you can look for and certain answers to the problems that you may be having right now. Also, before you arrive, it's very important to look at your accommodation. Make sure that you understand where you're going to be staying. All of that is sorted out. Queen Mary does have campus accommodation. I think it's one of the only universities in London that has a whole accommodation inside the campus so you don't have to travel to go to the lectures or anything like that which is a huge advantage also you can get basic insurance for your accommodation for five thousand pounds make sure you educate yourself on that there is a residency website which talks about everything from residency questions to the policy and the handbook um, to your arrival procedures so make sure you go to that website for alternative accommodation there's private halls that you can apply to which are not completely associated with um, Queen Mary University but they're very closely located to like a three minute walk to like a 20 minute walk so I would recommend you guys looking into that if you don't have any campus accommodation settled the next thing you guys should know before coming to Queen Mary or going to university is healthcare and the healthcare procedures that you must take before joining university so in the UK it is policy to get the MMR vaccine before coming to university if you don't know the MMR vaccine is a measles mumps and rubella vaccine that you have to take before coming to university also there is a free student health service at Queen Mary 
that is located near the geography building in Mile End and of course there's a huge forest hospital near our medical school as well that you can attend and both of these places will give you the information you need about the vaccine and about any safety procedures. Along with this, make sure you navigate through getting uh, registered with the GP as early as possible. I've talked about it in my previous video but I still haven't registered with the GP which is a huge regret of mine because I didn't get it done in the first place and now I'm just like procrastinating on it but I really should get it done. So you guys should definitely get it done as soon as possible when you join university and when you go to Queen Mary. The next thing you need to know before you come to uni is online enrollment. Most universities including Queen Mary do have online enrollment options so try to get that done before joining university because that's just a huge bureaucracy piece that can just tick off your to-do list which is going to be very helpful. For Queen Mary they will send you guys an email going through the online enrollment process and you just have to go through it and read the email and uh, it should be easy enough. I remember it was pretty smooth and pretty straightforward. The last thing that you should know before joining Queen Mary University is QM Plus. Now QM Plus is a platform that you'll be using predominantly in university. It's where all your assignments are going to be on. It's where all your lecture slides are going to be on. It's where all your capture recordings are on. So make sure you start navigating through QM Plus and getting used to the user interface and getting used to the navigation process which is going to make it a lot easier when you join university because you'll already know how to access certain documents, how to access the lectures, how to access the homework because you've already had a snoop through the website. So yes, that is everything for the before you arrive list and overall just make sure you keep an eye on your emails if you know what's happening and if you're always updating yourself with what the school tells you, you're in a pretty good position and you don't have to panic. All right, now onto the list of things you should do when you arrive. So the first thing you should do when you arrive is to make sure you are connected to the Wi-Fi. This sounds like a really easy thing, like duh, of course I'm gonna connect to the Wi-Fi, but sometimes it's actually harder than you think. You need to log in for a process. And I remember when I tried to do it, I wasn't able to, so I had to go to the IT services for them to help me with this. Edgerome, if you don't know, is pretty much the provider of Wi-Fi for most universities. So if you are connected to Edgerome, at Queen Mary, anywhere you go, you will be connected to Edgerome. So like if I go to UCL, I'll also connect to the Wi-Fi because they'll also be using Edgerome. So it, overall, it's a huge advantage to get connected to the Wi-Fi really early. Another thing that you guys should know when joining Queen Mary University is that everyone gets allocated an academic advisor. So make sure you know the contact of this person. Usually it will be someone or a lecturer in your department. So my academic advisor was a lecturer in the business department. Make sure you schedule a call or a meeting with your academic advisor. I think they will send out an email and they will give you a proposed list of times and then you're able to have that conversation with them and basically an academic advisor is just someone that is there to guide you and there to help you through any questions that you may have and usually you can schedule a meeting per semester I don't think I met my academic advisor after the first semester to be honest but they are a really good resource so definitely do check it out when you arrive to university the third thing that you definitely should get done when going to queen mary is getting a student card done you can't go anywhere without a student card you can't go to the library you can't go into some lecture rooms you can't even you know register your attendance for your lectures if you don't have a student card so that should be literally one of the first things you do when you go into university i think i did my student card at the Queen's Building. It's basically in Queen's Building, which is a huge main building that you see when you first go into Queen Mary. It's it's the biggest one, you can't miss it. Uh, and it should be easy enough. They take the picture on the spot and you're able to then have your card and register and tap into lectures and go into the library, etc. Alright, so now that you know what to do beforehand and when you arrive to Queen Mary University, one app you have to download is a Queen Mary University app. Um, there's a lot of different functions that you can do here. So first of all, you can access QM Plus, which is the biggest um, pro of having the app installed because going onto QM Plus through your web page or your Chrome application is just not the same. Having the app is going to make it so much easier. You can upload files from here. You can check out lecture slides from here. It's really useful. You can also use the app to book lecture rooms or book seminar rooms if you want to study. And you can uh, check the app for PC availability as well. And you can also use the app to access your email, your Queen Mary accounts email. One thing I do have to say is when I use the QM app, it was really buggy. Sometimes it just shuts down or sometimes it takes you a while to open up the app but I mean ultimately it is a take it or leave it situation because 
It's the only option, it's the only app that the university has. But yeah, if you are a software engineer who works for Queen Mary or worked on this app, or if you are the Queen Mary administration itself watching this video, then just to let you know, the app is really buggy and you guys should really fix it because it's the only option we have and it's really slow at loading everything. So yes, thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Another thing that I actually need to mention about the app that is a really good pro and a really useful tool to have on your phone is the fact that the Queen Mary app has a map of the campus. So even though Queen Mary is a campus where everything is in one consolidated space with the exception of Bart's, so if you're a medical student, your campus will be in Whitechapel. If you're doing anything else, your campus will be in Mile End. They're still relatively close to each other. It's a walking distance, so it's still fine. But there is a map that you can go to on the app. And not only on the app, there are tons of maps online and maps on the Queen Mary website that you should definitely try to navigate through and get accustomed to because when I first joined Queen Mary I was really confused like even though everything's in one place everything's in Queen Mary I still managed to get lost a ton of times like the engineering building is so far away from like Bancroft building for example and then arts too it's like it's just like a little bit like a maze just try to get used to the structure and their overall foundation and the blueprints of Queen Mary it's gonna be really useful when you arrive the next tip for all my Queen Mary students coming into freshers next year or this year actually is getting registered with the gym and make sure that you understand the gym prices and everything so I wouldn't actually recommend you guys getting the gym membership now I recommend you guys getting it during freshers week because that's when they have huge discounts you do have to do a training before you join the gym it's not anything elaborate so basically you just go there like you book a 10 minute session and they walk you through the different health and safety procedures the fire exits and what you can and cannot do in the gym so you do have to go through that training and sometimes you aren't able to have availability to do the training in the week that you want or just before you want to start working out so i would just like slot a session early in so you can get your gym membership really early in as well and you don't have to worry about that training also just to let you guys know underneath the gym so like the gym building right underneath it there is a place called drapers and this is the uni bar slash restaurants slash club basically during the day it's a place where you can grab food and then during the night it turns into a sort of bar slash club where all the parties at queen mary are held the most popular party at queen mary is called hell mary and it happens every last wednesday of the month and it is like a frat party basically it's themed around the different sports teams at Queen Mary so if you're part of a sports team usually you'd wear your uh, sports t-shirts or your club t-shirts to Hail Mary and you'd celebrate and you'd do your chants and everyone's like downing a red beer which is a concoction that I don't know what is in there but it tastes really good and if you don't really want to go every single time and like you want to be easy on the clubbing and be easy on the partying the one party you definitely should go to is Hail Mary like look at all these pictures this is me having fun at Hail Mary it's just one of those things that every Queen Mary student should do or at least should do once in their time at QM. Go once and see for yourself if it's your vibe or not. If you don't like it, you don't have to go back. But yeah, one thing I would recommend though is to wear trainers or more really casual clothes. The floors are sticky, there's beer flying everywhere, you're bound to get drinks spilled on you. So wear something comfortable. So yes guys, that is it for me today. This is the Queen Mary survival kit. Queen Mary, Freshers Guide, Queen Mary, What You Must Know, Queen Mary Advice, everything Queen Mary first year university students. This is the video and yeah, share it with other friends that you know that are joining Queen Mary University. Share it in your group chats, share it in your Facebook pages and I really hope it's really useful for you guys and let me know what you guys would like to see next. I do have videos on Queen Mary here and I will be making a lot more Queen Mary content in the future now that I have this platform. So yes, do continue to follow me for more tips or more questions and I might be doing a Q&A soon so follow me on Instagram because I'll be asking for some questions there and yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye!